Hey everybody, I'm Joe Deganzik and this is Smarter Home Life, talking once again about home security cameras. And on this particular video, I've got one that has recently hit the market and has been pretty well received. And after checking it out and trying out the various features and so forth over the past couple weeks, I think I'm leaning towards the positive direction as well. And I'm talking about none other than the Lighthouse AI home security camera. And I want to give a thank you to the team at Lighthouse for providing the camera to Smarter Home Life to make, well, to make this review completely possible. Now, unlike its name, it doesn't actually have a big bright light to let ships know where the coastline is, but it does have a simple, understated design and a lot of technology inside. From the packaging to the setup process to the embedded smarts inside Lighthouse, the experience is designed to make the innovative technology simple to use. The Lighthouse has what you would probably expect from an excellent home security camera. 1080p video, full night vision capabilities, a microphone and speaker for two-way talk, a very loud siren to ward off the bad guys, and a 3D time of flight sensor, the first of its kind in a smart home device. So you're probably wondering, what is a 3D time of flight sensor? Well, suffice it to say, without going to the Wikipedia definition, it is an advanced 3D sensor, and the guys who could probably explain it best are the ones who founded Lighthouse in the first place. Before then, they were working on, you know, small projects like self-driving cars and computer vision, so they know a thing or two about building a system into a camera using both the video side from the camera and also the, the special 3D sensor to do things like facial recognition, but also recognizing people, adults versus kids, and even your pets. Let's go to the main tab. This is just the settings tab, really, really simple stuff. The main tab, once you have it set up, you go through that simple setup process. You get your live view. You can get this uh, on basically, you know, the uh, good old um, portrait mode or in uh, landscape mode. I can flip this around so you get a nice color image. You see all kinds of things are stacked up in the messiness of, uh, of running a, um, a video studio in a tiny home. You can activate the siren, which is really loud. I'm not going to turn it on right now. You've got two-way talk capabilities. You've got the camera on and off. And scrolling down through this main page, you'll also see that I'm home, again, based on geolocation. Someone else is not home. And I can get a daily recap. It's also seen a face in the past little while. It's late at night. And uh, also it saw something a little while ago. Perhaps it wasn't quite sure what it was, but it's just letting me know that something was found. And these are some pings that I've set up. These are ways to get alerts um, that uh, based on activity and things. We'll go over that here in a moment. So I'm gonna skip past the people tab and go right to events so we can kind of talk about this a little bit. This is your rolling history of what's been going on. Obviously I've left, I've arrived. I do that, you know, at least once a day. And that's based on geolocation. And you see that here's an alert, a big exclamation point. Hey, this is, this is something with this, this fired, this something happened here. Didn't see people between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. Monday through Friday. Now this was initially a test to kind of just check my own schedule. I'm a late, uh, I'm a, a night owl, and I'm usually not up super early in the morning, even at like eight o'clock, I might be awake, but not really actually ready to go. So apparently I don't actually uh, get out of bed that early. I can scroll down the list and get some more interesting things other than this particular alert that I had set up for myself, kind of as a test. Pets, I don't have any pets, so uh, we'll have to figure out that. Um, Person-related activity while all invited users are away. What is up with that? Well, let's go in here. I should get a video of said event. Okay, well, there's some guy in the place. That's not good. Oh, there's a go live button. So I could, if this was actually happening and I had gotten an alert, I could go live and actually figure out what was actually happening here. And then I could perhaps do something if it was an actual burglar or something going wrong here, I could actually sound the siren and now as entertaining as that may have been let's jump back to that video real quick because i just want to point out a couple things to you you can see in the uh, burglar that they are in a halo a little highlight of blue i can actually turn that off and turn it back on again it's identified them as a person not as a 
plant, not as a pet. They're a person, they're an adult. The other thing is, as I kind of roll that, uh, roll this forward again, um, this is night vision. This place was entirely pitch black. That is a bright, really bright night vision image. So, uh, manage pings. These are a couple that I have set up, some of them for testing purposes, some of them just to try things out, and uh, by no means an exhaustive list. In fact, there is no exact precise list of what you can and cannot ask the uh, Lighthouse system. Um, you just have to experiment, and they give you some suggestions. If I click uh, or tap Create New, tell us what you would like to be notified about, and you can also tap the microphone icon instead of like typing it out. Well, I think that some of these features are gonna be really popular with multi-person households, families probably, maybe with kids that are supposed to be home by a certain time, so let's try something like this. Tell me if you don't see the kids by 3 p.m. on Tuesdays. And here it is, so got it. Notifying you if we don't see children between 12 and 3 p.m. on Tuesdays. So it literally figured all that out and added a couple of hours thinking that, okay, if the kids are supposed to be home at three o'clock on Tuesdays, and it, and it made a time window of between noon and three. So if it doesn't see any children during that time period, it's gonna send an alert. If it, if, which means, basically means that they didn't come home on time. So I'll tap confirm, it's there, the notification is on, it's done. But let's go to the ask tab. So this is the, the other powerful feature where it says search 30 days of video, you get 30 days of rolling storage. I'll go into more about that in a little bit later. Give me a recap of July 19th. And it brought up a video. Now this is a recap of the entire day that I wasn't here and I'm doing this for a certain reason. I'm just gonna let it roll forward. Um, it's basically fast forwarding through the entire day. I wasn't here, the camera was on simply because of my geolocation, uh, the privacy settings. And the beauty of it is I didn't get any false positives. As I had previously mentioned about the 3D sensing technology in Lighthouse that it can easily distinguish between adults and children and also pets, specifically cats and dogs. Now I didn't test the camera, I didn't uh, have the ability to test it with any kids, but of course there are the other kids or people refer to pets of course as their kids and you might be wondering, you know, you come home, the house is a complete mess, you want to know like just what happened. Well of course you can ask Lighthouse, show me what happened earlier with the pets. And uh, I did have a, a good friend of mine let me borrow his wonderful border collie, Aurora, to have her walk into the place and be recognized. Uh, pets do show up in orange. And again, just cats and dogs for right now. I'm sure they're gonna expand it as time goes on. And uh, she did uh, very well. And well, that was about the end of that. So to wrap things up, let's take a look at the People tab. And this is where we bring in facial recognition on top of all of the other smarts and the other tech for recognizing people and pets and so forth like I was just talking about. So this is where you can invite people, whether they are members of your home or they're just people who occasionally come over. Think about, you know, the delivery guy, babysitters, pet sitters, people who are coming over, they should be recognized in the system so that they don't set off a false alarm, but they should have no other access than just having an account and being recognized. And I asked my friend Murph to basically come over and play a friendly neighbor who would have had access to my home with my smart lock. Oh look, Murph's over at my place. It's probably just like a package or something. Hey Joe. How's it going? Good, man. Got a package. They left oh, it next. Great. They left it next door. Yeah, just uh, leave it on the table. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Cool. See you later. So once you have people recognized in the system and invited, and they've accepted uh, the invitation in their app, they simply download it, create a simple account, 
it's all good to go. Um, they'll show up in this tab as a list. You can tap on them to basically see um, that they've been recognized. It'll say uh, what has been recognized by Lighthouse, what has been tagged by other people. And you can change their level of access or remove their access entirely. This is the powerful feature. Now this, of course, this is the last piece, but this ties back in with everything else. So it ties back to the main screen where you see that daily recap and you can see who's being recognized in the system as the quick access. It ties back, of course, into the Ask tab, so you can say, when when was the when were the, when was that person here last? And give me an alert when they show up. This ties, of course, into the uh, the recognition of that waving gesture. So people could come home, they could simply wave at the camera, letting you know that they're there. Earlier in the video, I kind of skipped over this last tab called More. You might think of it as Settings. These are your account settings. You can set up multiple cameras to work in the app. You can go into the individual settings of a camera, jump into privacy and set up the automation. So if you don't want it recording when you or another member of your family is home, you can set that up. For these demos that I'm recording right now, it's, it's set to be always on. But you, you might think if you're familiar with other types of security cameras, you might think, aren't there some settings that are missing here, like sensitivity and brightness and so forth? They're missing for a reason. Remember that the 3D sensor on Lighthouse is working in concert with the 1080p camera. All that data is being processed on the device, in the cloud, to give you those real-time alerts. And to borrow a phrase, it just works. Well, it just works. You set up the camera, you link it to your Wi-Fi, set, uh, set up the account, set up some pings, let it do its thing, and then start asking it some questions. There are no other settings to play with. And for Lighthouse to have been able to achieve putting all this high-tech stuff into this smart home device and then hiding it and creating a wonderful app experience is, is really fantastic. But you might have noticed in a couple of the video clips that some things were misidentified. So you think, well, is it really performing as expected? Overall, it has, but there are little buttons that are next to each of those clips that you can tap those and tell Lighthouse, hey, this was mischaracterized, this was misclassified, please work on those algorithms a little bit more. And it'll improve the experience overall for you and for the Lighthouse communities. So overall, my opinion, my review officially of the product, I've had it for a couple weeks, and I think the Lighthouse is it's a refreshing take on a product category that has needed some innovation for a while, right? The various scenarios, the various things that I've thrown at it with pets and people and burglars and so forth, it's performed exactly as it should. And okay, there's a couple of glitches with those clips that I've let Lighthouse know, please improve upon that. But the best part was when I've been away from home, I've had zero false alerts and that's the peace of mind because you don't want to be alerted to something that's actually not happening. And that's light years ahead of other security camera products and even video doorbells that I've tested in the past. And for me as a tech guy, knowing that there's like self-driving car tech you know, inspired technology that's in this little smart home device, I kind of geek out at that. I think overall the lighthouse, you know, it's just really cool. Lighthouse is $2.99 and you can get it from their website at light.house. It comes with a 90-day free trial of their cloud AI service, which gives you access to all of the advanced recognition features and the alerts. Thank you again to Lighthouse for providing the camera. It's been great to test it. You should check it out for yourself over at their website, light.house. Otherwise, I'm Joe Deganzik for Smarter Home Life. Make your home just a little bit smarter every single day. It just takes a little bit of time. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.